And then you got to go on the JRE experience. And yeah, debate. And debate. He needs to lift that doctor. <laughs> that fucking that dork, dude. I hate that. He needs to come down dork, from his dude. ivory tower, dude. I was so mad at him. And all those people being up? like, You're we really need to up? protect this man at all costs. Did he invent the vaccine or something? No. Yeah, they're acting like he. he yeah. What the hell did the guy do? I forget. He. I don't think he's ever done anything. For real? I think he helped patent one of the Watch vac- it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> then how am I going to get to the gym? <laughs> Call an Uber. <laughs> Call an Uber to the grocery store. <laughs> then what? I'm just stuck here? <laughs> That's crazy. Did you see that? What? Uh, there, there was a, a thing. Someone's ring doorbell foot. That was actually kind of invasion. Yeah, right? that's bullshit. Oh. Wait, what was it? What uh, was it? I think I might have seen it. It was this guy. <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy. guy. <laughs> no, but I will say this. They're hitting him with abusive, and it's like, no. Yeah, that was... Being a brat is being a brat, but it's yeah, not abusive. It's Wait, was it fucking... Uh, what's his name? Crowder. Yeah, it was Crowder. Crowder. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that video was crazy. And who knows what she did before that, dude. She <laughs> might be taking much. the car a lot. This was but a they, while but ago. They said, there was yeah. a cut. they said there was a cut interlude. They had that, and then they had the cut... <laughs> And they're like, oh, at this point in the cut, he said he'd beat her fucking ass. And it was like, uh, saw that. And I went, maybe, but also, I need yeah. to see the, show me the tape. He was really mad. He was angry. He was yeah. serious. He was, he was actually sitting just like mad yeah, is right was, now. Yeah, he was, like, he was. Watch it. Which, I mean, that's watch like, it. for angry and being in that position, that's like an intimidating Dude, thing. I will say this. And, you know, if you're already fighting with your wife and then she becomes pregnant, there's not like an easy off switch to be like, all right, I'm not going to fight with her while she's yeah. You can fight with a pregnant lady. Yeah. I've done it. Yeah. I fought with a pregnant lady, dude. I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's not my proudest moment, but it's like, you do do it. And you're like, what am I doing? So yeah, I did feel badly that got released. I was like, that is really shitty. How did it get released? Did she release it? She must have. She crushed him. Although again, she could have been, he could have been torturing her behind. Who knows, dude? I tried to speak on Abuse the Abuse was affair. strong though in that, particularly in that video. Yeah. He was just bragging. What were they saying? He was gaslighting her? I mean, was, anytime you win an argument with a woman, <laughs> I mean, fucking, that, that was a straw man. You gaslight me. Like, he was, he you was don't bl- even know what these words mean, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> he was bludgeoning her with logic, dude. He bludgeoned, he bludgeoned her with logic. With logic dude. He sat down with the coffee and said, prove to me that I'm not right. <laughs> Change my, my mind. Yeah. Wrong. Change my mind about taking an Uber right now. <laughs> you should pick Watch up the dog poop. Change my mind. <laughs> He's just always got the sign on him, just in a bag. That'd be yeah, nice though, to be yeah, in the middle of an argument, <laughs> yeah. just like one second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can that take an Uber. Nice, change my mind, dude. Yeah. If I could go into like girl mind and just like if I'm his wife, I would just be sitting there and being like, I mean, I don't know. I think like drag story time is not that big of an idea. Oh, you could watch it, <laughs> watch it, watch it. You're the mother of my child. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing out a watch it to anyone is just insane. Watch it's unbelievable. That's so nice. Watch it's unbelievable. So nice. To <laughs> someone your age too. Fucking watch it. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> cool it. Cool it. Change your tone. You're on thin ice. You're on fucking thin ice. <laughs> you got to turn off the dinner time Fox News, dude. Yeah. You might mentally time travel. Dude. I've, dude. I was watching Fox News and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was eating dinner. I was I was locked in. I am until they get you between specials. I did turn into a Fox News dad, a hundred percent. You're gonna start taking up the being like, watch it, pal. I'm, hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm trying hey, to. You creep. <laughs> it's my dad's top shit. Creep, you creep. You guys being a creep, dude. He would get up if we were out eating when we were little. And like if there was like teenage <laughs> boys cursing. You know, we had a pizza place in like the Poconos, and he'd go over the table and be like, Would "You creep, stop cursing, knock it off." I have kids here. And they'd be wow. like. Like, watch your mouths. Dude, it was so funny. That's nice. He that's lived a, that's for a it. badass move. Punks. Kids snot punks. Scares the fuck snot out of nose me. punks. Dude, snot nose punks. Kids like, do? Yeah. It's because you're homeschooled. <laughs> 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 like, what are those? <laughs> I've never even seen one of those. Once. I just don't want to get bullied by a group of kids. Yeah, of course. I cross the street when they when I see them coming my way. Really? What type yeah. of kids do you cross the street for? Yeah, <laughs> all of them. School zone. Just in a school zone. <laughs> I live kind of in a school zone, and they're always running around outside my house. I f- they were one of them was filming a TikTok outside of my apartment. Awesome. And I was playing video games with my friends. I took up. I stood up to take a picture of them, 
and they saw me take the picture uh, and with then the they headset stood on? out yeah with my headset Fuck. on and pajama pants <laughs> and they and they stood outside of my apartment waving at me until i went out and said something we well, had to go out and address you them. Had to address yeah, them i had to address them and they were like did you just take a video of us and i was like no <laughs> The fuck are you guys talking about? Ooh, and then, a real they, were, they, were, they were like teens. They weren't. They weren't children. And uh, still, bro. They asked if I could buy them Taylor Swift yeah, tickets. I've heard that Wait, you're old enough to like date a 16 year old by common law, right? 22. Can you take like a 16 year old to prom or something your age? Uh, I think schools it caps out at like 18. Oh, really? Or depending on the school, I don't think I don't think high schools want like 22 year olds. I thought you could marry like a 22 year old. Rolling up to prom, marry, like a 16 year old. <laughs> Probably there's windows. If you like, if you, were to, if you were to like, there was twenty two year old hands like a seventeen yeah. year old and listen to Brian Adams, I think you'd be okay. Mm. Yeah. I, don't do it. Obviously, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Check your Maybe. local law, but yeah, check your local listings. You yeah. might be able to do that. <laughs> oh, that would be horrifying. Why? That'd be awesome. Seventeen year olds. You don't. They're you don't. So, they're so funny. <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> their pussies are so funny. I just want to talk to them. <laughs> Jesus, Harry. What the hell, dude. Their tight Harry. young pussies are hilarious. <laughs> I mean, you're probably legally allowed to say that at your age. You are. <laughs> I was watching. A, I was watching Marie Antoinette. Have you ever seen that movie? No. It's pretty. I, just I know made, of her. It was making me laugh at the beginning. Austria gives Marie Antoinette to France as like an, like yeah. they're like we need to become allies and like solidify this. It's just funny to see them being like, "Here's a sweet little piece of pussy for you." <laughs> yeah, Drew. Deal. We're friends now. <laughs> Here's a 14 year old's pussy. We're gonna send it over there. <laughs> well, the whole country was. What was the whole, they hated her, right? Towards the end, yeah. Towards the end, yeah. They cut her fucking head off. <laughs> but yeah, they, I know they did that. But at first, weren't they kind of like? Because you would send like one country a young babe, and they'd all be like, "Yo, for real, like we should get along." Yeah, they, babe, yeah. They would worship one babe and be like, she uh, is "I think, the I think they liked Marie Antoinette at first, at least yeah. according to the movie." She I was saw. cultured, wasn't she? She like came down and was like, "This is how you use a spoon." Mm, I'm French not sure. Farmers were like, the oh, movie was, fuck. I doubt, extremely accurate historically. Yeah. Um, God, that must suck, dude. They cut her head off. Yeah, Ooh, it was making me laugh thinking about that fucking Louis bit. The fucking first world problems bit. Which one? Where he's just like explaining. He invented like the first world problems, I think. Did he coin the term? Yeah, he did it in a special. That's pretty sick. He was like, first world problems are like, whatever, like this line's taking too long or something. He's like, third world problems are like, you wake up one day and you're like, oh, fuck, I forgot they're going to cut all our heads off. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they're cutting all our heads off today. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) The whole time I was watching it. I was like, God, I can't wait till they cut all these people's heads off. Yeah. Just gay Frenchmen running around in yeah. their fucking dumb outfits. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh <laughs> love making and the passion. <laughs> I'm like, there's just hungry dudes outside that are dirty. They're like, we're getting in there. I'm going to cut those fucking fruitcakes heads off, dude. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> they just partied for like 20 years and then they all got their heads cut off what was what was the name of the place they were all hanging versailles. out versailles yeah. yeah just being absolutely in the nicest fruity. literally the nicest place of all time oh and they're in there they, yeah having drinks fucking each everybody was fucking everybody yeah everyone had a mistress and yeah. shit back then marquis de lafayette he yeah. was he was uh he was like ousted from the court because he wouldn't cheat yeah. Everyone was like, dude, you're being a bitch. <laughs> we don't need you around our crew. Dude. We're all getting pussy on the side. Yeah. Don't think you're better than us. And then they all got their heads cut off. Did he get his head cut off? No. Or? But he got a lot of him. He had a lot of problems. He, he was in jail a lot. It's better than having your head get cut off. Yeah. Especially they probably had dull ass blades back then. <laughs> Just, oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, oh. it didn't take. It's like a paper cutter. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Head cut off is pretty funny. Yeah. Have you ever seen any of those videos? Yes. The live leakies? Yeah. I, yeah. I've honestly, I have virgin eyes when it comes to that stuff. It's, it's not good. Like, it's not good. Especially never, the beheadings on there are never, it's never it's a never a clean. Yeah. It's always a knife <laughs> and a fucking. <laughs> yeah. You see the guy going like. Argh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Does hey, anyone get a clean Jesus, cut? Mister? <laughs> Does anyone get a clean cut? Yeah. I think those, <clears> I think <throat> the Afghanis and Saudis got it down pretty good. That's not bad. They were hitting. I think the Taliban used to hit like soccer stadium beheadings, and they were they were once. Oh yeah, and the whole slice. town comes whole out. Town for it. Would be like, dude. Oh like, really? What are you doing Afghanistan after work rocks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think there's something we miss about that, like public justice, like brutal public justice. I think there's something that if, if we seek it online, dude. True. That's why I was just mad at that science dork. 
True, yeah. That was my public behavior. I just want to see him crucify I want to see Joe. one person debate someone who knows anything. I've never seen anyone do it yet. What if he just pantses RFK Jr.? Fair dude? enough. <laughs> That'd be so fun. I'd be so sad. But, dude, I don't think he will because they had something close to it. Rogie's almost kind of debated himself a little bit. Who was the guy who went on Rogie's and tried to, like, Oh, fucking that oh, I weirdo yeah. Sanjay Sienega? Gupto. Yeah. yeah. Sanjay Gupto tried to go on there. Rogi stomped him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. And it it's was like, a bloodbath. It was a total fucking bloodbath. And they're like, oh, this guy, what's he going to eat fucking elk meat and talk about wrestling? That's it's what like, I'm well, saying. then beat him in a debate. You're Bro, the CNN guy. You're a medical doctor. Yeah. I, Rogi stomped him in that debate. It was a bloodbath. That's dude. probably why they're like, <laughs> can't go in there. Well, because they get into the funding and the funding. They, also, really they don't understand Rogi's has been investigating this for three years now true like non-stop yeah yeah I mean, yeah he got fucking crucified i love watching the videos of, of rogan getting mad at people yeah it's kind of his nice. guests have you ever seen the one of him of the dude asking if he could like do the podcast like take over the podcast for a week you've never seen that no if rogan was like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like what do you have to offer me that would be equal to me giving you this platform for a full week <laughs> And the guy's like, I just think it would be like a really good idea. <laughs> really good yeah. idea. I think it'd be good for me. <laughs> yeah. Who uh, was it? Probably, Do you remember? I don't know, yeah. but that guy definitely was in the shower, being like, <laughs> he might be into the ideas like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a pretty open-minded guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone would see that I'm actually great. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Oh, just fucking kill me, dude. Just fucking kill me right now. Nightmare. Yeah, I was, I'd bombed on there, and that was bad, dude. That was yeah. cutting our fucking heads off. Yeah. yeah. I wish someone would have cut my head off down. right then, dude. And that was early in the episode, I wish Jamie would have fucking... 30 minutes oh, in? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Red face, just like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> Patreon. Yeah. yeah. That's where you go. And then they look at their demographics, and it's all men in prison who are... Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's crazy. Very unpleasant. That's what I think pleated khakis are for. So just identify hiding a if you see a guy in pleated now? khakis, like, oh, I have a, here he is. It's a pedophile yeah. right now. They're only worn <laughs> by pedophiles, dude. What you got? You got pleats? Oh, James, no, don't no, let no me know. James, James, how's your tummy? Hmm? My tummy. Your tummy and your penis is out. Thank God. You got the straight chinos, James, bro. this isn't that type of show. <laughs> yeah, you got those straight-ass right. chinos. Yes, straight I'm, as hell. I think my, they give me a more, you know, they draw attention to my beautiful slim legs and not the upper half. That's a big problem. I have a question for you. Would you rather be gay in Australia or in America? What do you think is better to be gay? Uh, you, they have a lot of power in Australia. Really? I would. So then why'd you move to America? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. At the start of the trans thing, I thought this is my shot. Now would be a good time to be a trans person. Trans would be not. Ooh. You could start over fresh here and go trans in America. But with your faith, well, wouldn't no, you think that'd be like a mortal sin? Uh, yes. Yeah. Where you would end up in, where would you go in the At afterlife? least purgatory, minimum. So you're saying trans people are going to at least purgatory? I think an unrepentant trans person might end up in purgatory. <laughs> purgatory seems like the perfect place for a trans, though. I think this is what we cut out last night. I swear <laughs> no to God, way. I think, no, got, I, I think we got I love, into gay. I love Dude, trans people. I think people. we got into gay or trans people are going to hell. And he had to be like, according to my faith, yes. Oh, yeah. And that's what no, it was. I, I think masturbators are going there. Every time I masturbate, what? I'm in a state of mortal sin and I have to go and confess it. You got to get it. Get this clean slate. Yeah. I mean, also, like coming in yeah, other than like, your, yeah, yeah. You, I've, I, you, what you if get you hit to come by in the wife's the vagina, way? and that's it. It's the only place What's you're allowed to. You can only come in your wife's vagina, or a, a wet dream is acceptable. But yeah. that's what about it. A, what, HJ from the wife? Not allowed. What you have to finish in in your wife? Did you not know this? It's I mean, it's, so hot. it's kind of a good sell. Yeah, I yeah. thought you could at least spray. No, you're not allowed to. Withdraw. I think in the mega churches you can spray on your wife. I think belly. the mega churches you're allowed to come anywhere you please. I think you yeah, spray yeah. in your neighbor's mouth. <laughs> I'm certain. Yes, they're all spraying each other's fucking mouths. It's, the good Samaritan was left there, and everyone was just ejaculating him on the way past. And it was the one who didn't come on the. <laughs> what if you on want, the poor man on the street? Story? No, I just. <laughs> what if you do? What can you do? One of those. I do like, regret saying that. What? It's, well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't bring the gospels into disrepute with the jism. Yeah, it's just a joke. They get the good, the high ups, the British, the the Cardinals and shit would be like, yeah, that's pretty fun. Pope yeah. Francis would be very relaxed about it. I yeah, think. He, he's, he's, he's a little too relaxed. Yes, <laughs> but it's not my place to question the Holy Father. But sometimes <laughs> I have big questions. He's getting a little relaxed. He brought out gay blessings. Gay people can now come together and get a get blessed. They get blessed. I'd like to get a gay blessing with somebody. 
That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, you're saying like it's like a marriage? He strongly says it's not a marriage, but if two gay men come and they ask for a blessing of their relationship, they're allowed to be blessed. Yeah, he'll be like... But a special blessing really? to maybe help them not be as like gay. Homo this was a big... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may now suck the groom. <laughs> you may 69. You may now 69 on the altar. You may lie sideways. How dare you? How dare you speak of the altar in that way? No, this you is too now, far. Two guys can 69. No, on. I don't like this at all. You know this is crook. It's a pagan ritual now. Fuck, I forgot the name of where they keep the Eucharist. The I'm not going to tell tabernacle. you what it is so that you You're can't You're now allowed to Jews inside it. the tabernacle. Don't you say this about the tabernacle. I know you're all jokes and having a nice time. That is the body of Christ. Not yet. No, it is. Well, once it's in there. Once it's consecrated and it's inside. It just yep. sits there, and that's why you'd kneel. And in the knackle, yeah. Yeah, I go, I'm serious about the Eucharist. It's my only thing that I would fight a duel over. You would fight a duel over the Eucharist? That's what's and up. I'm doing some big talk. I don't want anyone to challenge me to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be a coward. No, that's it's no, good. It's, I think it's a good thing. I think people should have some religion or something in their lives. No. They you should have one worship. religion in their lives, and everything else makes them worse. Yeah, you start to worship money. I can see how that could be done. You can really buy nice things in this country. Yeah. And it does rule. Tony Hinchcliffe has three thrones in his <laughs> house. And I did think, as I was sitting on one of the thrones, that it would be quite nice. Yeah, to, you do love thrones. I yeah. immediately, I, when I went in, I immediately sat yeah. on the throne. That's You're true. sitting in worldly powers flowing through you. It's very Moorish. True. But yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to use my powers for evil and become very rich in this country and get into violent forms of sexual outlet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder about that. I, th I think the church could drop a lot of the more repressive elements. I think it's high time they drop like the, you know, just be like, you can joke around and have a good time. I don't know why people- They're okay with that. I'm more, I'm very uptight. I'm a convert. I don't oh, know really? Either. Yeah. Gotcha. They're also okay if you jack off. Yeah, they really are. They go, Dad, don't worry about it. Say a fucking our father. True. As as the punishments are not big, and yeah. apparently it's not a mortal sin if you're like compelled to, if you're addicted to it. But who's not addicted to yeah, feeling great dude. whenever they want? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I've I've been better. It's been literally everyone in this room just went. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think about that all the time. Cause I, you know, I have like friends who are like getting sober off of drugs, and I'm like. If you really like something, like I just, I just use masturbation as my only thing as like a window into like hopelessly a thing that like you can just never get away from. And it's like, yeah, it's so hard. Yeah. If you tell me like you just can't jerk off anything even close to as awesome as jerking off. Oh never man. Do it ever again. I never like, thought of that. Yeah. I think about that. And heroin's got to be so much better than jacking off. I would think. Uh, I hit methamphetamine be... sex is apparently it makes chem normal sex. sex look like a handshake. Yeah. I've, I've I've researched chem sex a lot, it. so it's pretty. It's just a. I like the way it sounds, and it's intravenous yeah. methamphetamine, so the guys keep the beautiful white teeth. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and they just get fucking jacked up. It's a big problem in the gay community right now. Yeah, they're trying to end like meth sex, and it's like yeah, it sounds great. It, it's, <laughs> it's yeah, that, dude. It's gay meth sex. Gay yeah, meth I think sex. I once I was writing uh, the website for a rehab clinic, mm -hmm. and I had to write the article on like how we help people get off of chem sex, and it's. Very hard not to make it sound great. It's like, <laughs> listen, it's more dopamine going into the brain. It's like a hundred times better than anything else you'll ever feel. And that's hard to step away from. <laughs> the greatest feeling known to man. Yeah, it's got to be tough. So, but meth gets your fucking boner. I guess it doesn't fuck with your boner. Then Adderall and meth are totally different because yeah, Adderall totally eviscerates your penis you don't have a penis maybe your there was remember the gone. thing mcafee got in trouble for it was a thing called mvpd which was like methamphetamine but it had a strong fucking boner effect and he was accused of um making manufacturing it down in his house in belize <laughs> so he was like writing like detailed <laughs> website yeah. articles about how to make this stuff and he's like i was just kidding damn but i don't think he, i think he was like making that stuff and getting rock hard that makes sense. Like a compound in Belize and just started attacking the government for some reason. Yeah. He started he started funding uh 
police forces independently started like buying them boots you can like, donate to the police he i mean police i guess you can yeah oh, dude, in you kidding me the police, the police are always fucking have their hand out the police, every time yeah you can do that here too they're, all, they're on this highway with fucking like firefighters do it with like fire boots yeah. or like put quarters in their shoes we do it with firefighters because they're good people but the police also probably great people why don't you like the police? I don't like living in a society that needs the police. They've only been around oh for like 120 years. And you don't years. like the lefties? That's the one thing where I jump in with the lefties and I don't hate. Nah, dude, go, the police get rid of the about. police. I used to, when I was what? younger, I used to be like fucking police. You now can't I'm, get rid of them now. now I love I'm happy police. that they're around. In, but if everyone's in a small village mm-hmm. and we're yeah. all living in the feudal system, yes, we won't we need were police. hobbits. That'd yeah, be great. We, there's no yeah, we'd have cops wizard. in hobbits. Yeah, we would have a wizard. We'd have a wizard. You just have a neighborhood watch and there's a guy with a gun who walks around and you can call him. It's the police. Yeah, there you go. You reached police. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to get paid for it. I want him to do it because he loves you. Dude, their life is on the line. I'm, I support individual police officers. I think they're great people. I hear you. you I wish we like didn't, I wish we didn't have to have war. <laughs> but when we have war, I'm glad that we have, that we have soldiers strong. and stuff. Yeah. I sure. wish we didn't have to have soldiers. I love the police. My wife became a cop and then she retired. And when she was a Your cop. Your wife was a police She lady? was a police officer for a while, yeah. She'd be a great cop. She was pretty good. She was good at telling people off at that party. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She's very. She was very good at it. She yeah. has to go like past people and like if you see like dudes like standing outside, you do have to be like, bro, get out, like go move. I would do what she told me to do. Yeah. She was also pushing. Yeah. There was a, a beautiful stripper who tried to hug her and she was having none of it. She said, "Get off me, bitch." <laughs> yeah, that's a good. I, call. She said, "I don't know you." <laughs> it's like Bobby Hill. Right. <laughs> she wasn't keen on that she was that's that's a lady thing ladies hate younger la- any lady younger than you you hate them jerry seinfeld getting a hug from kesha yeah so beautiful it how is. much did you pay for it <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding he says no joking. he pushes her away yeah. he pushes he Thumbs said up. get he off goes, like can a i have a hug interview. He is, no thank you and he's like no i don't know who you are what are you doing what are women getting hired for Tell someone me. sexually harassed no 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 when, was it tim it was mike Mike harassed David. Okay. If we're talking sexual harassment, it's Cal's goatee. That thing looks like it's about to rape everyone in here. I think this is a good look. Okay, Shane, you're so in a bubble of harassment that you walk around, you hit nuts. You Hitting nuts is fun. You like it. I don't like it, but it's not harassment. You say cum a lot. You can't talk cum here anymore? No more talking cum. What is this, fucking Russia? When you walked over here, I was telling him about last night's cums. Me and this girl both, she was on top. No, 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 Eddie, no, no, no. On, See, this thing, no, you can't do that. Seminar, I call seminar. I pulled out and she still cummed. It was like a ghost. She was coming after you pulled yeah, out? Yeah, I pulled out and she was still... <laughs> she got hit with the electric boogie. She's not on the pill? No, nah, we were both Christians. Both cummed at the same time. Really? I don't know, maybe she lied. Peg! Nice tits. Jesus Christ. You too, bud. To seminar. I seminar her. She pegged. She made fun of my tits. Dad's on the phone. He said, you get, you got, you forgot to make your bed this morning. She didn't go back on the well, shop. We got a phone call from your mom. She said she's tired of washing all those socks. There's a lot of hard socks. Just called your cum socks, clogged the dryer, and started a fire back at your parents' house. She, she is not interested in you at all. Okay, okay. This hurts. I'm Ye- sorry. I don't want to be a dickhead. Yes, this sucks. wanting a discount, and there's an overlap. I promise you there's never that overlap. Well, every time, every strip club I've ever been to, I've been like, that's the overlap. I'm in the overlap. You're not in the overlap. When's the last time you got laid? Irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. Dude, you don't just go from zero to that chick. What you need to do is go to fucking Wendy's across the street, find someone that eats fast food a lot, try to fucking finger them. I'm just talking about your fucking body outside of like people being like, holy shit, did you see that weird dude that works at the shop? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. This is what you need to do. You need to go to the bathroom, jerk off. Okay. People do it all the time. No. Cal jerks off constantly here. What? Any residual ejaculate out of there. Get okay? Peg to do that. Peg will love that shit. Okay. Like a pig My in goodness. Pop. Jerk off. No. It'll help. Shane? No. Would you? Would you no, dude. Just let me get the brakes no. off. What's this? You can't even take them off the shit. Got your penis. Now your penis is. Would you just let. Look, for real though, dude. You know she's no, just trying to him. take advantage of him. It's fucked up. Fucking sleep apnea mess. So She's what? not gonna fuck him. Whatever. He's got a little That's hope for the afternoon. It's not necessarily him. a deal breaker. I have fucked a lot of guys with sleep apnea mess. Yeah, of course you fucking have. Where are the other two brake pads? Wait, I don't know. What? There was four brake pads here. Now there's two. Stop making that face at me. I'm rearing up on. Where you. are my brake pads? I'm rearing up. I've seen it pass that a million times. You know what I would do if I were you? I'd pray to Saint Anthony. Please, that's, kind of, that's exactly Say what Anthony, you do. Help us. 
come around. There's a fucking goatee dipshit talking to me. You don't even want him to have a chance. Do you want to know where they are? Where? Up your butt and around the corner. I didn't lose the brake pads, but I'm glad they're gone. Oh. All right, I actually have to take a shit. You don't want him to. Unbelievable. I'm pooping. Why are your feet facing forward? I'm peeing. Shane? Ew, I know what you're doing in there, dude. Shane! You are such a fucking. This, this is, you're sexually harassing me. I'm not sexually harassing anybody. Who's the one with your dick in their hand right now? You're the one who's pulling my dick in my hand. Yeah, it's yeah. natural, it's natural. I'm just trying to have a casual pee, and you're gonna bust in here having a go at it. You're me. gonna fucking bust in here, dude. I'm gonna tell everyone, dude. No, what I'm are you telling, telling everybody that I'm here and peeing? Ew, please stop doing Ew, that. Ew, I'm blowing on you while you're jerking off. Stop blowing on me, it's so. Now you're gay. It's not how it works. Shane, Shane, Ew. Shane! Ew. I have a question. Is it uh, sexual harassment if you just jerked off in the shop bathroom right before this meeting? False. There's a hot chick trying to get a good discount. I told him to go jerk off and then come back and talk to her. Oh. She's trying to take advantage of him. Discount. Yeah. Everybody price. does it. Full price. I told you. Full price. I told you. I the two brakes. I don't yeah, know where they are. You what? I didn't hide them. Did, Did you? You hit the, bra you hit the brakes on the this brakes. car? I didn't hide the brakes. Did you pray to St. Anthony when you were looking you around? No, I didn't pray to St. Anthony. That could be a problem. You absolutely screwed me. You screwed me. Dude, you had no fucking chance. You had no chance. I was trying to help you. This shit was going to be embarrassing. You were going to give her this shit for free. She was just going to walk all over you. You had no shot. Will you tell him? Did you just ask her? All right, no, I'll ask her. Not, Miss, not. excuse me. Yeah. Was there any chance you were going to go on a date with this guy? I, I would. I'll get, I'll, I'm going to get the brake pads yeah, for get you. get the brakes. I'm sorry. I can't believe you didn't check back here, Cal. This is my spot. I Silly Billy for really. YouTube, the number one thing that like par my parents actually asked me about because I was just home in Chicago. I spoke about you and then I said, yeah, a buddy of mine's putting out a special on mm -hmm. YouTube. And my mother was like, are you going to film when you come to Chicago? I said, maybe. I don't really know. I haven't yeah. decided about that shit. And she's like, you should do the YouTube thing. Can you make money on it? And I was like, well, you can, but it's also to. Yeah, get not your really. Yeah, yeah, right. Because. Like, you didn't put monetization on the video. Yeah, and I thought about that. I was like, I, I wonder what's the rules. Like, what would you... Did you do it consciously, or you don't... Yeah, even, I did. Because yeah. you can... You could, I didn't even add, like, a tipping option. Why didn't you do that, I, I guess? <laughs> I'm pretty Should bad we do that now? I'm bad at this stuff. Should we go back and do yeah. it now? No, it's just... Uh, the tipping thing, I think... I don't know how much money I would have made. I think maybe to 10... Five ten thousand dollars. You say that, dude. It's a bummer because you'll never. It could have been so. Much. With Bobby Kalala and Shay Gillis. Uh, the first question is not a question. It was actually a common um, request on our Twitter and our social media. Uh, people are saying you have an amazing, surprisingly Donald Trump impression, oh. and they wanted to see if you could teach Bobby how to do the Donald Trump impression. He's tried it a couple times. Can I hear yours? I don't have one. Yeah, you try, try to do it. Try. No, you one first. I'll mimic you. <laughs> You try. First. No, no. No, you go first. Well, just give me a sentence yeah, okay. that he would say, and then I, maybe I'll try. Uh, let's go. Uh, uh, the greatest. Uh, the greatest country in the world is America. The greatest. The greatest country in the world is America. Okay. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. terrible. That was terrible. That was, like, <laughs> that was like Marlon Brand. <laughs> America, I know. Great. <laughs> well, I mean, say one, do the same line, right. and maybe I can mimic it. So you got to do the easiest way to do Trump is like the speech Trump okay. when he's doing a rally. Trump. Okay, okay. Because it's just in the back of your throat. Okay. The greatest country. <laughs> the greatest country. Okay. A little bit. The, the greatest country. Don't do this. Do this. Uh, the greatest That's, country. Don't move at all. Only yeah, it, move your hands. All right. Don't, don't move my body. If you're don't sitting, move your shoulders. Just uh, your right, hands. If you're the sitting, greatest country. Sit like that if you're sitting. Don't. First of all, don't. Okay. So sit like this. <laughs> don't. Yeah. The greatest country. The best country. The best country. <laughs> wow. What a country. <laughs> wow. What a country. <laughs> A lot of Asians. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of Asians. Maybe too many Asians. Maybe too there many Asians. Too many Asians. <laughs> yeah. Maybe too many Asians. I don't know. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. We're changing about web, web uh, security, too. Yeah. Who the fuck is this guy? There's been a guy that's been banging outside the door and it's, screaming this, this entire is time. Fuck. It's another WAP. True. I mean, we're right next to a kitchen, too. So. True. The WAPs ah. are in there. It's a me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Shut up, uh, you guinea. Rush, the rush is on. <laughs> they live for the rush, dude. Gardini knows. Gardini worked in a fucking Italian Oh, yeah, restaurant. you worked in an Italian pizza shop. Yeah, dude. I worked for WAPs, too. They do love screaming. They fight, oh, yeah. they fight all day in the freak, kitchen. Dude, they freak. They spaz every day. Dude, they're ridiculous. <laughs> Your wife's a moulignon. <laughs> All right, that's my last black joke. Ital- no, Italians do say that. It's good. I know, yeah. I know. I've seen the movies. Classic Italian joke. Yeah. Which means eggplant, I believe. It does. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What is that another it's one? It just, just continuously just happened. In. The WAPs just keep checking in on the room. Yeah, they, what well, is they it? Heard, they heard, they heard more and yawn, and they're like, <laughs> are we partying? <laughs> Dude, if you gave a girl a karate chop on the butthole, not as hard as you could, obviously, because you'd split her in half. Yes. But if you did like a, if you did like a quick fucking <laughs> to the butthole, they'd... Probably do something. I mean, yeah. If you can split them, <laughs> they'd probably you can do split brick. I could split a brick. <laughs> yeah, I've no doubt I could split. Girl's a, butthole would be nothing. Girl's butthole would just. Yeah, dude, give me three. You'd two stack buttholes. three of them on top of each other, <laughs> <laughs> and they'd all just come at the. It's probably all girls really want is to be cut in half from the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> um, ma'am, I hit ma'am? my I hit my girl with a funny one this morning. What'd you get? Her? You would have liked it. She What'd came in the room. It was she was looking for her laptop, and it was in the bed, and I was like. What do you want? And she goes, my laptop. I go, when do you want it? She goes, now. <laughs> and I go, what do you want? She goes, my laptop. <laughs> go, when do you want it? She goes, now. <laughs> it's a fun little trick. You can get a very good. You trick. see somebody looking for something, hit them with, what do you want? When do you want it? And then they go, now. <laughs> then you start a chant. You go, what do you want? <laughs> Harry Cruz would wail on you dude. terry cruz if you're cruz watching this would. i feel like i could beat you in a fist fight <laughs> dude that's if i had to pick a celebrity he'd be like one of the last ones no i'm kidding terry cruz would absolutely kill me <laughs> um i just want i just want i just want to pop off and say something nuts dude. it's like clearly terry cruz would kill me i've been taking shots at the rock dude you think you could beat up the rock fuck the rock up dude i'm sick of him who would win in a fight terry cruz or the rock the, the rock the really rock. yeah Wait, why are you sick of him uh well it started a long time ago but I was hung over one day, wake, waking up in a hotel. And I just, you know, looked at Instagram. Yeah, it's just a rock. It's like disrupting in my iron paradise. <laughs> I was like, dude, fuck this guy. Shut just up. Every, I was just like, shut the fuck shut up. Shut the dude. fuck up. Good God. Yeah. And then he posts like cheat day videos. Yeah, and it's like, like, I earned this, and he just eats cookies and shit. It's like, dude, <laughs> you're Fast and Furious movies in the WWF. Fucking shut up. Relax on yourself. Dude, no. you were the worst part of Moana. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think he's going to run for president. Would you vote for The Rock? Yes. Uh, it depends. Is he going to fucking secure the border? Yeah, yeah it depends. Is he, he going to lock her up? Because <laughs> in that case, I'm all... Yo, I'm all, yeah. It's oh, like, where really? the fuck is Shane Gillis? <laughs> Some of these guys just plow right through it. Like, I, this one guy, <laughs> he's... I mean, I like him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. This is some fucking dude from Canada that sends me <laughs> pictures of his food every day. <laughs> Like, Wait, what meal? Single day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Constantly grilling meat. <laughs> and he so just he's sends your me personal Joe Rogan Instagram opening feed. Opening the fucking grill and filming it, and that's it. And I'll occasionally tap like on it. Well, that's yeah. your first problem. Oh, that's, every day. You know, yeah. I didn't realize it's been a while since he sent me some meat. <laughs> From the Matt and Shane's secret little tiny podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, is that how you want to start? <laughs> Do you want to go with that? Everybody, the hilarious Shane Gillis is with us. Hey. Yeah. This way, I get all in the spec. Have you ever taken a test or something? No. For it? No. Why not? Take an know? autism test? Yeah. yeah. yeah What's the test? Should, I think you should take one. Do you fucking panic at malls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you told yeah. me people with Asperger's panicked at malls, I'd be like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that sure. Flow of conversation can be tough sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys it's are our fucked fault. up. It's our fault. Yeah. Look, I'm one on sorry. five. One on five. <laughs> what do you want me to it's do? Definitely one on what five. What do you want me to do? Ah, just entertain. All right. Man, I fucking love Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that hard, Shane? Is that that hard? Finally. You turn it on when you want. Yeah. That's all you it piece takes. Piece of shit. Because <laughs> oh you're acting God. like we've never hung out on a not podcast before. Guys, mm. I'm having fun. I'm glad that you makes are. one of us. I'm it's glad the time you of my are. life. I'm glad. <laughs> Who? What else? What is the podcast normally like? Huh? Uh, we sit, we bring up a thing, then we bring up a race, and then we say how it's connected. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avengers is like Mexicans. Why, guys? Uh, they just keep coming out with more. Yeah, they, they're all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is good. Nice good formula. Yeah, that's yeah. One. It's like I like improv. That. 
<laughs> what else you got? Or we explain why stuff is gay a lot. We like yeah, that. We oh, love that. That's fun. See, dude, this is a, this is my wheelhouse. Why aren't we doing that? Yeah, Some yeah, Jew jokes? jokes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. say roasted. Yeah, that might on. be a little Come bit on. insensitive. Roasted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do a different one for that. <laughs> Bullying. That's better. Bullying. Bullying. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's basically the formula to what we do here. You know, and yeah. then maybe we'll have an interesting conversation about a YouTube video that you saw that week. Yeah. Mm. Right. Something that taught you something about the world, and mm -hmm. then you know the guys will probably support it and encourage you to bring up more conversations. What other movies? Are like, like races. <laughs> no more movies. I like the movies and races. <laughs> I'm just realizing right now you're fully fucking autistic. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I never yeah, knew it. No. I never yeah. knew it, dude. No, he's, he's normally drunk. And that uh, probably unlocks his, you, like, his personality, his humanity. Yeah, or you just chalk up any of the weirdness to being drunk. You're like, oh, I just fucking drunk. That's yeah, why he yeah, stared yeah. at me like this for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he put his tongue on my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time, I just thought he was all, making fun dude, of me. All I want to do is go home and play video games. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. We brought the video games to I you, know. baby. Oh, you want to see autism? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to see it. <laughs> What are the, you guys like traveled here and you're like, hopefully Hans Kim takes a liking to us? What a sad fucking existence, dude. <laughs> that sucked. You know you're better than him? You know that? Yeah. Don't get tricked. I can you guys introduce dumb you to Bobby shit? Lee. Are you guys dumb? Come on. <laughs> Wake up, idiots. Not open the fucking trash bag and eat all the food. Dude, what was their excuse? I don't know. I've seen plenty of black men eat half a uh, meatball sandwich and take that thing back home. Yeah. Yeah, save it for later. Respect. I said that respectfully. I've seen that yeah. happen many times, dude. You work construction. Yeah, black guys typically have half a hoagie on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at any given moment. <laughs> I've seen so many dudes when I when I was in the labor union, when I'd work for my dad, they would like eat half a meatball sandwich and just chuck it in their pocket. And they were like, oh, my wife's going to love this sandwich, dude. They just, you know, they'd have like a fucking hot meatball on them and a fucking half a hoagie all day long. Yeah. Just in the back, just fucking wrapped up and just be like chiseling concrete. I'm like, damn, my wife's going to love this. <laughs> and that's happened enough for me. To, I can say that with respect. Yeah. Like, that's, you know. And once you pick up on that, you'll notice it. Like yeah. you'll see if you pick up because a lot of people, you don't realize it. But if you're just walking down the street, you'll see a black guy drop a sandwich almost every day. <laughs> They'll come out. I'd be like, ah, shit. I'm going to have to pick up a pick up a wrapped up Subway sub. They stay with one half hoggy on them at all yeah. times. Yeah. Where do they store it? Yeah, pockets. in a plastic they have a ton bag. of pockets. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Plastic guys, shopping. That's why they always wear baggy clothes <laughs> <laughs> to accommodate their hoagies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they stay strapped with that witch, dude. They yes, got that witch all on times. them at all times, dude. <laughs> it's dangerous. So that would have been respectful. You guys could have fucking pocketed your sandwich. And that's why they're always so ornery. Oh ornery <laughs> because they, they know that they have fragile stuff on their persons so True. if you like bump into the max yeah, like, you, you must, or you you must cost me a fucking sandwich yeah if you step on their shoes like yo you almost crushed my sub that's bro. why they keep randomly <laughs> knocking out people in new york <laughs> you get too close to the sandwich i watched an asian lady get <laughs> bopped on the face oh, today dude, you get you get a hit you see one of them get hit they can pick up their bros like you're bleeding through it's just the marinara yeah. sauce <laughs> <laughs> coming through the jabot <laughs> <laughs> dude, you gotta cut deli you gotta, paper rip. Yeah, dude, it. if they get yeah. hit by a car, you gotta cut the jeans <laughs> off and get yeah. to the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Italian. That's I, I got an Italian sub. You know how many Italian you, subs save their lives, dude? Think of a guy in an ER and some nurse, like he's unconscious. <laughs> she's like cutting it and just cutting it into bread. Like, what the fuck? That's so why the cops are always pulling him over. Just trying to, oh, what? <laughs> trying to commandeer. Yeah, I knew oh, I was yeah. going to cops. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they want a free sub. They're going to oh, confiscate the Let sub. me pat you yeah. down. They're fucking, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. What's this? That's all yeah. cops eat are commandeered hoggies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they love it, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're 100% right to that. take this back to the station and test it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they take the hoagie and they're like... <laughs> legit that's the battle between who loves hoagies more than cops or old black dudes <laughs> oh my god jesus oh, christ shit. Um, so saturday night <laughs> no Dude, this is a good podcast yeah. this is what the people want just two they dudes do. drinking love, some whiskey and then going back and forth sports <laughs> going back and forth now who's that guy trust me the girls checked out a long time really ago. Well, they saw the thumbnail. I lost the girls. Yeah. They didn't click. No. 
This is all buds, man. This is the bros. <laughs> this, is the bros. this is just the dudes now. It's no. funny. I, I've, I've done shows with like my friends, and they have like girl. I can't believe they have girls in their audience. I do. I can't believe it. No, we do. We do have a good faction of women. God. No, why? You have no women fans, bro. None. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guy wearing before a, he even talks. The guy wearing a houndtooth <laughs> leggings suit. Jimmy said that Michael said this was a. I first don't believe person. a word of anything in this documentary. Okay, 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 <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> just like Michael Jackson in the audience clapping. That is the greatest. Oh, you think he was going to side go that side? I swear to you, I was. I was about to say the words. I go, how could they be clapping for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah guys dress like Sergeant Pepper. Yeah, they, they really do. Like they dress like, yeah. they dress like fucking Dominican warlords. Uh, I don't know. Is he in? A, is he in the FAU band? Why is he? <laughs> is he going to drumline? Uh -huh. Why is? <laughs> okay. What's up? <laughs> ah, okay. What's up? Oh, trick daddy before it's a trick daddy. Daddy performance on Wendy Williams. He just comes out late. Aha! What's up? Shut up. To the they victims. Are. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. They are a hot to couple. The <laughs> to the little boys that got fucked. Oh, shut up. Oh, I'm big with content. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, create. Yeah. I wish I could have showed. I wish I could have showed what the thumbnail of the special was going to be. <laughs> That morning, he messages me that morning. He goes, "Hey, is this good?" And it's just like a picture of like upshot of his nostrils. You don't even know if it's him. You have no fucking clue terrible. who it is, dude. It was unbelievable. I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought it was. I thought it was the Netflix thing for Love on the Spectrum. True. <laughs> he True. Just, it was an upstairs. There's no way that it was you. I had no clue uh, it was you. I do have a bit of Michael in me. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm a big You've teddy been bear. Oh. Fuck, I was on season it's one, old, bro. Thank you. When you it came this? out, <laughs> he's been oh trying to get me to watch this. Hold on. Before Go. we get into this, yeah, there's a better one. It's called the specials. Yeah, dude, the specials are the, the OG. Specials <laughs> is, <laughs> I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy. Yo, let me explain this story. Okay. We're talking about people with Down syndrome yes. and they're doing reality shows about yes. this. Yeah. Okay. There's a house full of people with Down syndrome. Yes. First off, once you watch it, you realize dudes with Down syndrome are the bros. They're the best dudes on earth. Of, co of course. All right. Yeah. So this dude named Sam, he's got Down syndrome. One of the episodes, they're going to take him to a Lady Boys show, a burlesque show of Lady Boys. And he is pumped, dude. He's got the flyer. He's like, he keeps coming up to the camera like, sexy dances. And everybody's like, relax. <laughs> they're Australian. Yeah, they're relax. All British. No, the no, they're British. British. no, this is British. Yeah. Okay. And he goes, and then they, everybody keeps telling him, it's like, no, they're actually men. And he's like, no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, he's like, trust me, they're not. And then he's talking to one of the one of the house like chaperones, and he's like, "Sam, they are they are boys." And he's like, "Don't be rude, <laughs> don't be rude." <laughs> and then he, he's trying so hard. And then he goes, "What if one of them tells you they have a penis?" And he goes, "I'd be fuming." <laughs> and then he goes, "Why would you be mad?" He goes, "I have no idea." <laughs> he's just like, Dude, "That's the bro." I'm, I'm still going. So he gets. To, they take him to the show. He gets in there. The camera's on him. The girls come out and are dancing. He's holding a soda. He looks back at his boys like, they show his face like, yo, I told you. <laughs> the girls are sexy. <laughs> and then uh, one, of the, one of the dancers takes their mask off and starts singing like a man. And they cut the camera to him and he's just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> he's still being polite. He's, yeah. And then a minute later, all the dancers come back out. The camera comes to him. He's like. Uh, <laughs> you a second chance. Dude, there was a guy who yelled the N-word last time I was there. White or black? White. He was related to Shane, obviously. No, this was... <laughs> it wasn't, he yeah, wasn't one of Shane. my things. <laughs> the fuck? He wasn't one Where of my things. Where have you been all these years? <laughs> no, what happened? There was a comedian before me that was black that was doing a joke about fucking a white chick and her saying the N-word or something like that. It wasn't... Ten minutes later, this guy's just like, how come we can't say it? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the comedian had Asperger's, so he was very like, wait, whoa. Who, who, who? What? What are who you saying? What, what? And the guy was like, how come I can't say? No. Oh. And, it, and the, everyone in the room was just like, what the fuck? Is <laughs> and I was about to go on. I was standing there just like, the show's over. And that ruined the show. He got kicked out, obviously. He, he yeah, said it yeah, yeah, yeah. once yeah, or twice, and then his wife started chanting Biden. Wait, like so, ironically, I guess. Like Biden. Yeah, Biden. she was like, "This is Biden's America. We're not even allowed to say the N word in public anymore." <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Liberals ruin this country. Dude, dude. Liberals ruin. It. You're not allowed to scream the N word in the middle of a show. I brought that. Up. Bring that up in Arizona next time you're there. It'd be like Trump lost here, right? The whole crowd would be like, "No, he did." Yeah. Freak out! Yeah. I was like, "You guys gotta let him go, dude. Let it go." Did you mention it when you came back? Yeah, on? I did ten minutes on it. What'd you say? You have to. Just like hell Michael yeah. Richards just went. For it. <laughs> hell yeah, bro. Question is not a question. It was actually a common um, request. On our Twitter and our social media, uh, people are saying you have an amazing, surprisingly Donald Trump impression, oh. and they wanted to see if you could teach Bobby how to do the Donald Trump impression. He's tried it a couple of times. Can I hear yours? I don't have one. Yeah, you try, do try to do it. Try. No, you try, you, you one first. I'll mimic you. <laughs> you try. First. No, no, no. You go first. Well, just give me a okay, sentence okay. that he would say, and then I, maybe I'll try. Uh, let's go. Uh, uh, the greatest. Uh, the greatest country in the world is America. The greatest. The greatest country in the world is America. Okay. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. That was, like, that was like Marlon Brandt. <laughs> the I know. The great- <laughs> well, I mean, say one, do the same line, right. and maybe I can mimic it. So you got to do the easiest way to do Trump is like the speech Trump okay. when he's doing a rally. Trump. Okay, okay. Because it's just in the back of your throat. Okay. The greatest country. <laughs> That's it. The greatest country. Okay. A little bit. The, the greatest country. Don't do this. Do this. Uh, the greatest That's, country. Don't move at all. Only yeah, move your hands. All right. Don't, don't move my body. If you're don't sitting. Don't move your shoulders. Just uh, your hands. Right. If you're the sitting. greatest country. Sit like that if you're sitting. Don't. First of all, don't. Okay. So sit like this. <laughs> don't. Yeah. The greatest country. The best country. The best country. <laughs> Wow, what, what a country. Wow, what a country. <laughs> a lot of Asians. A lot of, a lot of Asians. Maybe too many Asians. Maybe too there many Asians. Too many Asians. <laughs> yeah. Maybe too many Asians. I don't know. Really That's pretty good. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> Silly Billy for really. The Wild Wild West. Dude, I fucking... I sent you that pic yesterday. Of what? Me going fucking sicko mode. 83 degrees. The gym broke. Oh, AC yeah. broke, dude. <laughs> and no one would step into my Lutus, dude. People would open the door and go, oh. And I was in there at 83 degrees slamming medicine balls going, ah! Yeah. Ah! Nobody wants any part of that, dude. Dude, raising the medicine. Who's going to carry the boats? Not not them, dude. Not them. It was just me. The salt, the salt was burning my fucking cuts, dude. I hadn't slept. I pretty much haven't slept. It was hell week, dude. I got you no basically sleep, no sleep the night before. I was covered in piss. I fucking I was in there. I just raised. I raised. Actually, the, I raised. It's hell week. It's hell, week. It's hell fucking five years. I raised the <laughs> medicine ball to the sky, dude. And it's fucking. Yeah! Were you practicing for your kids? I think about that sometimes. I mean, I also I did. I think this is how much my kid weighs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have been enjoying uh, like just going underwater on them. We'll be in a pool and they'll be talking. I just go, <laughs> and dude, it's just fucking peace, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm talking me going yeah, underwater. Yeah, yeah. I just go like I hear like Matt here, and I hold my breath for as long as I can, dude. And I'm like, this fat Samoan lifeguard's gonna have to pull me the fuck out of here. Yeah. And I just pop up and I'm like, down anyone there. notice how long that was? And it's just like, no. You're down there shadow boxing like Ali <laughs> underwater, just <laughs> fucking my wife is <laughs> nothing better. My wife's talking to some old couple and they're like, yeah, well, how long you guys have met? Yeah. Just fucking 30 seconds of peace. It is the abyss. So, not- dude, it's going underwater on your family is nice, dude. You can hear them faintly. It's like you're on like, you're, it's like you're like you're a near death experience. Yeah. You're dying and they're just going like, Wee. Daddy, we actually rented this off of our friends. Brother. <laughs> my, 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 Think how many bros have passed on with that, just their wife in the room. No one really knows as you're losing. No one knows you're losing consciousness. You've been in there a few days, so your wife is on full, just regular convo mode. Yeah, oh god! So many dudes have died listening to their wife talk to like a nurse or a doctor. Like, yeah, we actually moved to the area about five <laughs> years ago. You just said. <laughs> Thank you. Take me. Yeah. Sweet release. Although, who would you rather have at your side, a man or a woman, uh, during your death? No homo on this? No homo on Absolutely this. Absolutely a bro. A bro. I'd want it to be you, dude. I'd want to be laying there. 
you start talking to me about something. Appreciate that. You know. <laughs> Didn't even hear you take your last breath, dude. So I, can... I go, dude, remember how sick helium open mics were? <laughs> <laughs> remember the wolf pack, dude? Remember the fucking... <laughs> You remember that? Remember we first got fifty fucking dollars from helium? Yeah, yeah, true, true. I was thinking about that. Yeah, what a good time. That was awesome. The house, the house on it was fucking so good. Dude. Mount Vernon was the funnest time. Dude. Yeah, come you like I cannot explain coming out of a divorce and just like it was like a moving car and I jumped and had to yeah. run into just the funnest. Panama, bam, bam. <sighs> It was senior week till you're 30. It was, dude. <laughs> it was, it was, I was like being like, I had like, I went from like bedtime to being like yelled at about like plates and shit to just like. To now it. we're yelling about plates. We're saying, where the fuck are the plates? <laughs> true. <laughs> Wood man. True. That was true. But still, we were pretty civil about it, dude. Yeah. I still get chewed out over just my new shit, bro. I've been fighting for my freedom, dude. It really is. It's dude. It's a, it's. People talk about countries like getting together and being friends. It's like, dude, take two people. And yeah. Try that's it's the same exact thing. Scare people competing for scarce resources. What wins yeah. out? What doesn't? It's it's a journey, brother. It is, man. It's an absolute fucking journey. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> but now nah, man we're back dude the uh this is what i I almost forgot about this i i didn't want to get into it because it would have been too long for the end of the regular podcast so i want to save it for our true fucking friends yeah dude. true friends and family only have you you know james joyce like finnegan's yes. wake ulysses or whatever you can never say that word ulysses 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 you know what ulysses actually means thigh wound really yeah it's from the it's from uh like those Greek myths of like there were so many people that would get like a boy would get like a bad wound and that's how he became a man. It was like Ulysses, I, I think translate. You can look that up. Really? I think it translates into thigh wound because that was the Adonis. They love that. Achilles, dude. <laughs> they Adonis love those. Adonis wounds. got fucking a pig like rammed him in the dick hole. <laughs> like, fucking, fucking good, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think he died from that's that. early Instagram. What? It was just an Adonis, like, yeah, you know, and then some fucking internet pig was like, you fucking, you're gay. <laughs> so I was reading, uh, he his first book was called Dubliners. Yeah. And, it, dude, apparently he never wrote anything. And it's like, hey, he published these short stories. There, and people were like, Jesus Christ. Is James Joyce, the I only have to declare my genius? I don't know. Did he say that? He said, I don't yeah. have to declare my genius? James Joyce. Was actually, you remember that fucking Thomas Marr story? No. The immortal Irishman that won a history oh, podcast? Is that who you saw him? His ex babe was James Joyce's mother. For real? I believe. When was James Joyce born? I think he lived in like 18, the 30s. Yeah, he would have been born in like the 1860s, 70s. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think, he, I think his mom was a young Irelander. Yeah, I got it. Nice. His mom was an Irish revolutionary that was fucking with Thomas More first. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and it's the Odysseus scar, not the, the uh, Odysseus, Odysseus scar, not the Ulysses. Scar, but yeah. Ulysses is a translation of Odysseus. Oh, okay. don't try to fucking I, ever. I was just no, trying no, to Google I'm it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Is it? <laughs> I think Forgive so. Me. Yeah. Ulysses, no, Ulysses is separate than Odysseus. Is, is it a play on Odysseus? I thought it was like a translation. Odysseus is a silver tongued devil. Odysseus. Yeah. Oh, this was he the guy who wrote Ulysses? It is. It is a Latinized name. Oh, really? Of Odysseus. Ulysses yeah. is it's Odysseus. A Latinized name yeah. of Odysseus. Now we're learning. Now, dude, I'm telling you, dude. Now yeah, we're it, means, learning. it means the thigh wound, dude. It's yeah. a boy mm -hmm. becoming a man, dude. Ulysses means Od like Odysseus, a man. That's bearing. what an Odyssey is. True. It's short for it's a from wounded. Odysseus. It's from he got he got lost. It's short yeah, for dude. thigh wound. Yeah, it's, it's what the a, fuck's it's a, going on? It's coming back with a near mortal wound, and then you come back a changed person. You say, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a divorce. Much, yeah. <laughs> that was your first divorce. <laughs> Double thigh wounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, the uh, he writes these dude he writes these short stories, and they're like the fucking funniest things. They're they're just like it's just sad, shitty Irish people. Yeah. The first story in in the book is about a priest who it's just. These two old ladies just like crying about a dead priest who lived in their house. They like make him soup and shit. So they like they're sitting there like, oh poor poor man, he's dead now. Fodder. We we fought her, we loved him fodder, so much. Fucking sick, fodder. I brought him soup and they're like, and then they slowly start being like, he was a little weird towards the, and they start trashing him. And apparently, they they end in the weirdest ways where it's like, 
this guy's there. He hates his whole family. He's with these two aunts. They're yeah. like, we love them so much. And he's like, that guy, priest was a fucking weird. He would just shove snuff up his nose. And the priest got like disillusioned towards the end. It was like, ah. yeah, the priest got disillusioned. And they, the big scandal in town was that he was found in a confessional alone by himself laughing out loud. And like other priests walked by him. were like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And then when he, once he died, they're all were like, he was a little weird. And they're like, yeah. And then this just ends. They just tell that at the very end. <laughs> and then, dude, the next one is, uh, I swear to God, it might be the funniest thing I've ever read where it's like these two young schoolboys go, they're like ditching school. They want to, and like, dude, it's it like, they'll start with them in school and a priest just like yelling at them for like stupid bullshit. And then the next day they're like, dude, let's ditch. We're going to take the ferry across some river, find there was like this weird historical building and they were going to like throw a rock at it or something stupid. And then like come back just skip school just yeah. to throw a rock at this place. Like then we'll come back. No one will know. This would be fucking sick. Yeah. So they go and they uh, it's just it's supposed to be three of them. One bails out and like fucking we're keeping his money and they, cause they ought to pay like six pence for the ferry. So they go, they cross this ferry and it's like it's just too far. And like we can't make it to the building. We got to go home. We're going to get busted. So they sit down. They bought like a muffin. They're like munching a muffin. And the old man, they, 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 there's like the, the whole story is about these kids going to this place. And it just the only thing that happens is an old man comes up to him on a cane. And he's like, <laughs> he sits down next to him. And he was like, do you boys have sweethearts for girls for sweethearts? And they're like, the one kid's like, yeah, I have a ton of girls for sweethearts. The other kid's like, I don't have any. He's like, oh, I don't believe you. You must have girls for sweethearts. He's like, I don't have any girls for sweethearts. And the guy, the guy starts going like, I love sweethearts. They're soft hands and hair. And he just gets totally torqued. He gets torqued. Starts talking sweethearts with these two yeah. young boys. Gets so torqued. He's like, I'll be back. And they look over. He's just jerking off next to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, ew, you fucking flopper. Or whatever. They call yeah. him some weird name. You fucking chiseler. The chiseler. <laughs> so then he comes back and his other friend, who's like a rougher type of a kid, he just like runs off like I got to go find this fucking cat I've been chasing. So he goes to chase his cat. cat. He's trying to find this cat. He's been he's been after it the whole time. He's, he just like throws rocks at it. Throws rocks at cats. <laughs> yeah. And then, so this old man sits back down next to the other kid. He was like, I don't believe you don't have any sweethearts for girlfriends or any girls. It's post nut. Post nut, dude. Comes no back, clarity. Totally. Comes back hornier. Complete post nut. No, here's what he comes back. So he cranks off the nut about sweethearts and he sits down next to him. He goes, honestly, between you and me. You shouldn't have girls for sweethearts. He's like, you know what I want to do more than anything in this world is catch a boy with a girl for a sweetheart and put him across my knee and spank his bottom. And the kid's just being like, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. And he's like, just kind of like, yeah, maybe. And the guy keeps like, I'd love it. Nothing more in the world than to spank a boy's oh, bottom. No. And then the guy's like, uh, I'll be right back and stands up and he just like runs to his boy. That's it. That's the I whole think, story. I might be getting this wrong. I think Joyce was a gay man himself. Was he a gay man? I thought he was horny for the ladies. Who am I thinking of? Who yeah. said they were going to declare their genius when they got to America, which is... I think he was a gay man. I think Joyce would write letters to who's his another, babe. Who's another Irish poet that was a gay man? Maybe Yeats. Joyce used to write letters to his babe. but He was like writing like notoriously horny letters to his Ooh, babe. Ooh, all right. He would like talk about ladies' arses and stuff. Oscar Wilde Oscar is the Wilde's gay man, man. Who that makes sense. Genius. He's like a real cosmopolitan. Yeah, he yeah, was like yeah. pre sex in the city. Yes. He's like, there's no other city like New York. I was going to say, that's a little early for a gay man. Yeah, no, Joyce was. 18, had, 1880s, you can't be a gay man. Joyce was cis hat. I think I was the uh, Lemon Party Bros told me about him. <laughs> he was writing letters. <laughs> no, he got I thought caught. you meant the old keys. No, no. <laughs> he was writing letters to his wife, and they got caught, and he's like, I want to touch your arse. Your arse is your so. Dude, arse. It's. Dude, and then the story just ends with, like, he sees his boy in the field. It's like, we got to roll. And he's like, when I saw my friend, I felt bad because I talked so much shit on him. And I was so relieved to see my tough friend help me against this old pedophile. And then it's like the end. You're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with it's this good guy? story. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Dude, the guy jacking next to a tree made me laugh. So not even, like, out of sight. It's like, yeah. excuse me. It's like, walking. oh, pardon me. I love sweethearts. Girls are sweethearts. <laughs> he was like old and had a cane. Oh, just he's nodding on the grass. Dude, and he was actually, I got kind of, ew. It is kind of gross. Yeah. I got scared too because he's like, when he got up, he like kept his back to the old man. He was half expecting him to grab his heels and like rip him down and oh. start spanking him. <laughs> he got away. They got back and took the ferry back home like that. What the fuck? That sucked. It's a tale. It's a cautionary tale. True. If you want to skip school. Guess who's waiting for you outside? Be careful.
the pedophiles. The pe- there's one lonely pedophile just hobbling around. He like walked by him at first and looked at him and like, kept walking. And he came back like pretending like he forgot something. He was like. What's up, guys? Do you guys have sweethearts? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was delighting me last night. I was laughing in bed about that. I'd also pillow talk Brittany too about this is what I, I was trying to remember what I gave her. So I was sitting next to her and I was like, 